Hey guys, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm showing you how to make modern wafer paper cake ruffles. So I previously have showed you guys how to make rice paper sails and that video actually did really well I think because the design is just so beautiful and so I actually wanted to show you another way to make really cool modern ruffles or sails whatever you want to call them and instead of rice paper today I'm gonna to be using wafer paper so wafer paper ruffles are actually really quick and easy to make but to get started I'm actually going to color my cake layers and a really fun color palette so I really like the idea of just contrasting colors for this. And so for this bottom tier, I'm just using some buttercream that I dyed using Americolor Wedgwood. Um, Wedgwood is like a beautiful color. It's new to me. Normally I just kind of do this baby blue, um, but I found this Wedgwood and I'm super happy with it. So I think I'm gonna use it in a lot of other cakes. Um, and this cake is actually a lemon cake um, underneath all of this and I am just frosting it with American buttercream that obviously I dyed. Here, this is a little four inch cake and I'm going to cover it in my um, bright, vibrant fuchsia icing. This is Americolor fuchsia. Um, and it's just really gonna complement one another with those like different vibrancies. both of my cakes iced I'm actually gonna put these into the freezer because I do want these to chill and firm up before I stack them and decorate them um, and next I'm going to work on my wafer paper ruffles which is actually the most fun part of this whole cake so I did make some ahead of time so obviously I have my blue and my fuchsia that are gonna go on my cake and I'll show you guys how these are created so here I have wafer paper and I got this on Amazon and what I'm gonna start um, out by doing is just making some different shapes. So here is our secret weapon in creating these. This is a steamer. And fun fact, I do actually love to steam my clothes. Um, shocker, I love everything perfect and laying nicely. Um, but this comes in very handy. You can also do it over the stove. I found like if you boil some water and you get that steam, it's not as powerful as using a steamer. So if you have one, I recommend doing it this way. So steamer is ready to go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to place my, well, make sure I don't burn myself. I'm just going to put my wafer paper directly in front of the steam. And it's gonna start to kind of curl on its own. And you can actually manipulate the wafer paper into kind of the shape that you want it to be. about creating these wafer paper sails is doing it this way they dry super fast and so there's no wait time like with rice paper I had to wait a day before decorating my cake but these I can pretty much just airbrush and place on my cake so these are dry and now I'm going to show you how I airbrush these to make a beautiful color 
So I tried two different ways of coloring my wafer paper. And the first way I tried was just using powdered food coloring and brushing it on to the actual sail. And I have seen other people do it and it looked great. When I did it, it looked so ugly. It was like patchy. It looked like it was like a preschool art project. So that was not gonna work for me. But what did work was airbrushing. And I also learned that you can create your own airbrush color. Because the color palette I'm using is so specific, when I was like searching to purchase airbrush colors, I actually couldn't find what I wanted, but I can use my existing gel food coloring and basically water it down to create whatever airbrush shade I want. So let me show you how I do that. So for this, I'm gonna start with my Wedgwood. And I just have um, like a little silicone container. And I just put, well, two drops in there. And I'm gonna add just some vodka to this to really water it down. Um, there's no like exact amount. You just don't want any clumps. You want it really thin. And the vodka will burn off. Like as it evaporates, um, it's not gonna be left on the sail. So don't worry about that. So I have this pretty thin and you can use um, a dropper. I'm actually using, this is like an unused medicine. <laughs> uh, dropper. And I'm going to use gloves for this because when I did my practice ruffles ahead of time, I had like food colored hands for three days. Um, no matter what, airbrushing is just messy. So you can see I obviously covered the table beforehand um, because it like leaves a film no matter what. So definitely prepare for a mess and plan accordingly. So I'm just using my little Cake Boss airbrusher and I'm adding in my homemade color here. So now I'm gonna do the exact same thing for my fuchsia shade. All right, we're gonna improvise because apparently I have no more fuchsia. So this is burgundy. <laughs> so let's see how this shade turns out. So burgundy was a hard pass. It looked brown when I mixed it together. So let's try soft pink. I'm definitely happy that I made the fuchsia ahead of time because I like the fuchsia shade much better. So Americolor Wedgwood, Americolor Fuchsia, and Americolor Soft Pink that to me actually looks like kind of like a, almost like a bright red. So these are not done. What I wanna do next is I do wanna add a little bit of shimmer to them just to give it like a little bit of something extra. So to create this, I'm just using a little bit of luster dust and this is Mother of Pearl. And I'm gonna mix it again with a little bit of vodka that will also burn off. And I'm just gonna make a little bit of paint here. And what I'm doing is just kind of painting in the ridges, um, just to give it like even more of a dimensional look. So these cakes just came out of the freezer. They were in there for maybe half an hour and they are cold. The buttercream has chilled. And what I'm gonna do is obviously stack my little cake on top of my big cake. I probably should have mentioned that although this is sitting on a six inch cake board, I actually made a little four inch cake board under here. Um, so there's a little cake board under there as well. So I'm just going to Stack this here. 
So most of this is gonna be covered with ruffles, so if there's like any flaws, I'm not worried about it because we're not even going to see it. And to apply the wafer paper ruffle slash sails, I'm just gonna be using a little bit of buttercream and putting it directly onto the cake and just sticking them on wherever I think they look good. So a few questions I always get about like wafer paper and rice paper um, are, is it edible and can you refrigerate these? So it is technically edible. Um, it doesn't taste great, um, but it definitely wouldn't harm anybody if they decided to eat it. Um, it kind of just tastes like nothing. And as far as refrigerating, I would recommend not refrigerating these or rice paper um, because like the temperature like will kind of mess with the form and like the shape. So I would say basically if you need to refrigerate your cake, add these last like as your very final step before, you know, it gets served or, you know, for the presentation. My wafer paper cake is complete and you guys I feel like this is a modern piece of art I love how it turned out and it was so simple to make and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me create this and if you did don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel